All right, so let's just highlight a few things. Um, so we're running and swimming. That's what I did. I put running and swimming. So I have different rates and times and distances. Um, so there's a two mile in the run and then a one mile in the swim. Okay. Um, it took Peggy 42 minutes to do this. So she ran uh, two miles and swam a mile. It took 42 minutes. But if she was able to run the total three miles, it would only take 18 minutes. I think we can just figure out what her rate is right there because we have the distance and the time. But let's first convert these uh, the times to um, uh, hours. Okay, so 42 out of 60. Common factor there looks like 6, so 7 tenths of an hour. So we'll leave that in hours, right? This is hours. And 18 minutes, so 18 out of 60. That is equal to 6, so 3 tenths hours. Okay. So that those are our those are our two different um, times that we are given. Okay. So well let's write it down here. So our swimming rate, we can just the running rate and swimming rate, we can call those R. Okay. Yes. I think we can find out the running weight pretty quickly. Um, the distance that was run is 2, and the swim was 1. So the times, we don't know how much time was allocated to each. Um, so we'll, we'll say that that is distance over rate, so 2 over R. Uh, and again, for the swim, distance over rate, so 1 over S. Okay. But what we did know is that we can run, she can, sorry, she can run three miles in 18 minutes. So we can find out what R is right away. Let's do that. So R is equal to distance over time. So that is three over, and it was only 18 minutes, so that's three tenths of an hour. Okay. So when we multiply by the reciprocal, that's when we divide by a fraction, multiply reciprocal, is equal to 3 times uh, 10 over 3, which is just the rate is equal to 10 miles per hour. So we have the running rate. Okay, That's pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, that's like uh, world-class running speed. It's, it's, because if you think about it, it would take, yeah, that's faster than I can run, that's for sure. Okay. Um, which is very fast. Let's look at now we have that. Now what's the other thing? We know the total amount of time. So we've got the running time, which is here, 2 over R, and the swimming time is 1 over S, and gives us a total of 42 minutes, which is 7 tenths. So let me just write that out. So we have the 2 over R, plus 1 over s is equal to 7 tenths. Okay, that's good. We know what r is, so I'm just going to substitute that. So 2 over, and I'm going to substitute, we know this is 10, because the rate is already determined for, the running rate is already determined. All right, plus 1 over s is equal to, 7 tenths, and I'm just going to, these are already common denominators, so it's super easy to subtract 2 tenths. So 1 over s, is, that still looks like a 5 almost, 1 over s is equal to a half, because that's going to be 5 tenths, so it's just a half. So here I can see that s is equal to 2 miles per hour. Alright, so the run rate the run is um, uh, 10 miles per hour, and the swim is 2 miles per hour. It's a pretty fast swim, too, really. All right, that's it.